The Ben Simmons story is sad. No joke, he's actually gotten worse offensively this year. Before he crashes the franchise, they must trade him. Philly actually almost did. Ben was even told to expect a trade. That's awkward. So it's pretty clear Simmons is not gonna end his career in Philly. Now this video says what team wants to take him on and what those trade packages should be. Hey, it's Casey, welcome to AM Hoops. Hit subscribe, hit notification bells if you have watched videos this week. You know I am on the road. I'm at my parents' house and I forgot my green screen. So we're still working hard. We have made a few adjustments. I think this background is pretty cool. I think actually when I do get back home, we are going to shift uh, to a realistic background. I just then need to figure out like, do I keep the picture frame? Do I have a real picture frame? I don't know, it's gonna be fun. Uh, again, hit subscribe. We're right about at 100K. I'm super grateful for all of you. I don't know about you, but I thought James Harden was definitely a sixer for about an hour. Then when the Woj bomb hit my phone that Brooklyn got him, I was shocked. I guess Philly's offer wasn't good enough. Wait, Ben Simmons was supposed to be the most valuable player Houston could get for the beard. Uh, yeah, that's how bad it's gotten. Simmons' game looks awful right now. Houston preferred eight picks instead of him. And really, that's just three, maybe four good picks. The first four are gonna be awful while the Nets are still good. That was unthinkable a few years ago. Ben Simmons was supposed to be the next elite superstar, a 6'10 athletic freak who could play make, defend, score inside. Once he developed an outside shot, he's Giannis 2.0. The problem is he never developed that shot. In fact, Sixers fans are so over Ben Simmons because he's not willing to shoot. I mean, it's frustrating for those of us who don't watch this team every night, but diehard fans are done. I mean, look at this clip of him in Summer League. This was before his rookie season. Do you know how deadly he would be if Simmons just put that in his game back then? Now, it's year four on the court, and he's playing some of the worst ball of his career. I know they've got a good record, but this will make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Simmons is averaging just about 12 points, nine boards, eight assists per game, shooting a career worst, 50% from the field on an awful nine field goal attempts per night. At one time, a question was, do you build around Joe Embiid or Simmons? Now there's no doubt, the process is the pick, it is out with the Aussie. Now we could sit here for the next 10 minutes and just kill the Sixers for trading Jimmy Butler because that would be the perfect solution, right? Another top 10 type player to pair with Joel Embiid, but that's in the past. Right now, the problem is this. Ben Simmons' plane leveled out last summer. That was the time to trade him. Now he is nose diving and the trade packages are gonna suck. There was a day when Simmons alone would have got you a great return. Now the price for Harden was Simmons plus picks and young players. Bottom line, if Philly wants a guy like Bradley Beal, it'll cost a ton, but they have to do it. It's obvious that they're not gonna win a title with Embiid and Simmons, and that relationship is ruined. Daryl Morey said he would not trade Ben, then weeks later almost had a deal done. I know Simmons said he was ecstatic the trade didn't go down, but people lie, just like Daryl Morey did. So Philly is gonna get a lot less than they want for Ben Simmons, but there's no choice. These are the top three realistic trade packages for Ben Simmons with a bonus insane trade at the end. Number three, the Bulls trade Zach Levine, Laurie Markkinen, and a top 10 protected first for Ben Simmons. Chicago's young core has potential, but they need a star like Ben Simmons to unlock them. Kobe White is moved to point full-time with this deal. As long as lineups don't have another non-shooter, this is a playoff team. The Bulls are the second worst defense in the East in front of only the Wizards. They need Ben Simmons. In Philly, Zach Levine and Larry Markkinen are shooting threats around an Embiid-centric offense. Levine is clearly the better player than Larry Markkinen who dipped last season, but hey, he just scored 29 against the Mavericks. 
The reason this is the last trade scenario is neither Levine or Markman have that star power to make Philly an instant contender. So the number two package is Portland sending CJ McCollum straight up for Ben Simmons. Last off season, this would have been a steal for Portland. Now I'm not 100% sure the Blazers say yes. Assuming they do though, Philly gets an above average shot creator and shot maker for their offense. He is 29 years old and had that back injury in the bubble, but it's not like Simmons is a picture of health either. This season, McCollum could be an all-star, averaging a career-high 27 points per game, five assists, and hitting 44% from deep. The only reason they would deal him straight up for Simmons is Ben is 24 years old and checks some boxes. Portland needs to get better defensively to compete out West. He provides playmaking, which helps with the loss of McCollum, and the Blazers are kind of like Philly. Both have a pair of stars who kind of feel like they've reached their potential. Swapping number twos could be an interesting solution for both. But the number one trade package is DC sending Bradley Beal for Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Thibel, and two first round picks. Again, this is painful because there was a day not long ago when Simmons could have gotten Beal, but now they have to move the present and the future. This big price isn't just about Ben's low trade value, it's also because they'll have a lot of competition for Beal. The Heat want him, possibly even the Pelicans. Philly didn't want to include Matisse or Maxi for Harden, but they have to pay up for Beal because he's an even better fit for their offense. Shake Milton will run the point with Beal at the two. He's an ideal fit next to Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris. The two-man game with the process would be deadly. The Wizards trading for Simmons with Russell Westbrook on the roster is an issue. Both guys can't shoot, but I don't think DC cares about winning this season. They get a ton for the future in this deal, and they could have a great chance at a top pick in the stacked 2021 draft. All right, so mainly those are the top three trade packages because those stars have all been rumored for Philly. Levine, McCollum, and Bradley Beal. But let me know down below in the comments what you think about this insane bonus trade. The Phoenix Suns send McCall Bridges, Cam Johnson, Jay Crowder, and Cap Filler for Simmons. The idea here is the Sixers getting a lot of shooting with Javon Carter and Jay Crowder to make up for defense. The Suns definitely take a gamble here, but they disrupt the chemistry they built since the bubble to add star power to compete in the West. Phoenix is off to a really good start with Chris Paul, no doubt, but no one expects them to win a playoff series once they get there. There is an issue, of course, with DeAndre Ayton and Ben Simmons both not shooting, but this deal raises their ceiling. Some people will look at Philly's record and say they don't need to be that desperate, but don't let the record fool you early in a pandemic season. This is about the playoffs, and this core has proven they cannot win. So before Ben Simmons bottoms out even more, they should hit eject and get a deal done. Support AM Hoops and click subscribe. Don't miss a daily NBA video.